Hey everybody, it's Tanya Atomic, and this is num day number 21 for 31 days of horror. And uh, we watched The Mad Monster from 1942. This film was the this film was made by the same filmmakers that did Dead Men Walk. And it, Dead Men Whack is sort of like a vampire tale, but like um, with a twist, you know, it's a little bit different. And this is a, like a wolfman tale, but like with a twist. There's a mad scientist, and he is um, uh, creating a wolfman by injecting him with <laughs> Max. My cat's here. Hi. Say hello. <laughs> he just said, rrr, at you. Um... <laughs> But he's um, injecting like the blood of a, a wolf, but it's like a like a coyote or something, and um, into this like handyman and make him turn into a wolf. And I mean, everything he's doing is unethical and immoral and horrible um, to the creatures and to the man. And it's like a mad scientist movie, really. Um, and I, I thought it was all right. I enjoyed it. Is it as good as Wolfman with Lon Chaney Jr.? No, it is not. But I think it is um, pretty good um, for, I don't know, for being on the 50-pack, honestly. <laughs> it was pretty good. I enjoyed this one. It wasn't my favorite, but it was near the top of the list of movies in this pack. Near the, the top, then to the bottom. Um, and I would say the same for Dead Men Walk. Um, it has a similar feel, you know, it was made by the similar people, and um, George Zucker is in both movies, and um, yeah, pretty good. If you like films of the 40s, and um, if you like, if you like their universal horror, I think you're going to think it's not quite as good, but you will maybe still enjoy it. Hi, kitty. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's it for this video. Stay tuned for day 22. I think it's 22. Okay.